Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm sharing how I coffee dye paper. So I get this question a lot and I thought I'd just do this updated tutorial on my process and hopefully it is helpful. Here's a stack of paper that I've already done. Um, I try and do it all in bulk. <laughs> I've also got some envelopes that I did here, some window envelopes and I have some medium sized envelopes here with little boxes in the corner and I also have just some smaller envelopes that I'm looking to embellish so the larger ones I tend to include as pages in a journal and these ones as embellishments so yeah that's a look at what it looks like at the end of the process and I'll take you right back to the beginning show you the materials I use and any tips and tricks that I have things like how do I coffee dye doilies and all that kind of thing but now I'll take you outside. It was a nice sunny day. So this is the coffee I use. It's just the cheapest coffee I can get in the shops. I use an oven tray, a nice deep one because it can hold a lot of water in it. So that oven tray is dedicated just for coffee dyeing. Of course, your plain copy paper. I For this video, I'm just using plain white copy paper 80 GSM, the normal printer paper. And you can see how that fits nicely in the tray. And then this big board that you see here is my wooden board. And that's what I use to dry my papers on. And you can see some of it has stuck to the board. All right, so this is my process now. So I'm just opening a new tin of coffee. Um, I do have a jug and a bowl of hot water here beside me. Usually I do this inside and I just put the tray underneath the hot tap. Um, but for the sake of this video, I just got some hot water in the jug and the bowl. Put some hot water in first and then pour in my coffee. I don't measure anything. I've done this so many times that I kind of just go by feel and I know how dark or light I want the papers depending on the batch. I'll put in more coffee or less coffee. And then I do stir it. Um, the reason I use hot water, one, it just dissolves the coffee quicker. Two, it's nice and warm on my hands. <laughs> Um, so I don't use boiling water though, just hot water from the tap. And usually, because I, when I do this inside, I just do it in my bedroom because we've got tile floors. And I usually just stir it with my hands, get my hands right in there. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, just using a spoon. Pouring in some more coffee. And I fill it up maybe halfway or a bit over halfway. If some people are wondering how full I fill up the tray. I'm just going to change the angle so you can see what it looks like from above and I'm just going to pour in a little bit more coffee <laughs> the wind is taking some of it um, so yeah just because it's a nice sunny day I thought this was a great chance for me to film this process video but usually whether it's sunny or not I do it in my room on a hot day in summer it takes a day to dry the papers um, in winter it can take maybe a week just depends on the weather but yeah definitely on those warm days it's beautiful it just takes so quick it doesn't take long at all for it to dry okay now here's my process I've already done some but basically I grab my paper dunk it as soon as it's covered I kind of strain it on the sides of the tin so that some of the coffee solution runs off and then lay it flat onto the board to dry and it's that quick. So this is why I can do, I don't know, 200, 300 pages a session. Um, because you don't need to leave it in there. You don't need to wait around or anything. Just dunk and go. I do put quite a lot of coffee in the solution to give me that rich um, coffee colour. And because when I originally did this, I would leave it in there and dunk it for a long time to make it get quite dark. But I realized to save time, I just put more coffee in the solution. <laughs> and then you can just dunk it and let it dry straight away. And as you can see, I'm just layering them up layer after layer after layer. And they don't stick together. You do have to wait for them to dry. If you try to um, pull them apart when they're wet or partially wet, they will stick and rip. But if you let them dry, they will come apart. Except for that first layer that often sticks to my, the base of my board but that's fine <laughs> um, I often use the bottom layer to make journal cards out of if the papers rip but these ones here they'll come out nice and creamy and beautiful and tan or whatever you want to call it um, 
So my tip for doilies is because they're nice and thin, I usually do a layer of paper and then just chuck on a layer of doily. I don't even dunk the doilies. The coffee solution seeps through from the other layers. And then that gives you also some lovely doily pattern on your papers. If I'm going to do envelopes, usually I do those last and just pile those on up on top at the end. Sometimes if I want to have patterns between the layers, I will put the envelope between the layers. So my cat is just meowing. He wants to go for a walk. So at the moment, his leash is around a tree. Um, so I'm just taking him for a walk now, having a bit of a break from the coffee dying. He's having a bit of a explore and explore smelling the coffee. And then after this, I take him for a walk around the house and the garden. <laughs> um, he's so cute. He's such a good walker now. He used to just sit, <laughs> but now he's pretty good at being walked. I only walk him around the house, around the yard. Um, but here, yeah, you can see the finished result of the layered papers. And I just let that dry. And the way I do it, either if it's a nice sunny day outside, but usually what I do is I bring it inside and I put it in front of the window where the sun streams in and it just dries my papers for me beautifully. And usually every hour or so, I will go in and just remove the top layers that are dry. And then, you know, the sun will do its work and keep on drying the next layers. If I just left them, eventually they would all dry eventually but it just helps the process if I remove the top layers and that is what they look like um, the top layer usually has some um, interesting patterns because it where it pulls but the middle layers tend to be a uniform nice beautiful creamy color so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and I'll answer those for you but I hope that was helpful um, if you have a different way of coffee dyeing, let us know as well. We all have our different ways. This is just the method that works for me, especially being in sunny Queensland. I don't need to use an oven or anything. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Bye, guys.